Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today we are going to be talking about what you can expect to see at the E3 Halo Bethesda game showcase thing that is coming on June 13th, which is literally just two weeks from now. But before we start the video, I want you to let me know in the comments down below what you think is going to happen at this showcase, what you expect to see from Halo, how long the Halo segment will last, and uh, just your thoughts and opinions on what we're going to see. Also, if you want to, you can subscribe to the channel because I do a lot of Halo content and I would greatly appreciate it in this YouTube climate that we're currently in. It's very hard to, uh, to branch out. So, so we're just going to be playing some BTB so it's kind of relaxing, but probably not because I'm probably going to sit here and actually attempt to play very well because that's just how I am. But, yes, let's get into the Halo Infinite hype train. Personally, I think what we're going to see at E3 at the game showcase is not so much of the campaign, but a huge focus on multiplayer. And I think that we can kind of already tell from the promotional images that have been coming out showing, you know, the Halo Reach squad. Uh, no, I don't think that that's... Uh, Oh my gosh, Halo Reach Anniversary or anything like that, or the actual Noble team. I think it's uh, armor coatings, armor, you know, uh, the actual armor set in the game. So I think what we're going to see is uh, a huge emphasis on that, bruh. But like I said, we've seen the promotional picture. We see the Pelicans in the top left. I think Big Team Battle 2.0 or Invasion 2.0 or whatever it's called is going to be the main thing that we we get footage of gameplay of just because we haven't seen literally any type of multiplayer other than like screenshots you know map screenshots I, I i can't imagine that they don't go full you know ham salami sandwich on showing multiplayer stuff because at this point, they absolutely need to. People obviously enjoy Halo's campaign, and that's great, and I'm sure there will be replayability and stuff in there. Man, that guy melted me. But Halo, you know, is sustained through multiplayer. The multiplayer is gonna be free to play. I just can't imagine a world where they're not like fully into it at this point. I suck. I got killed from the side. No, I didn't. Now, what happens if that is not the case? They don't show any multiplayer or anything like that. Then I think that we are in a world of trouble for Halo. I think that no matter what, people are going to be really dissecting whatever they're seeing uh, from this event. And if there's no multiplayer after a year delay and a year of not seeing any type of multiplayer stuff, then man i think the critics and you know content creators outside of the halo community are going to be like what is going on how can you how can you one not show off any of the multiplayer last year and expect like people to be like oh this is gonna be great you know come out here Yeet. pain and two to have a year off and the only multiplayer stuff that you show off is screenshots. I it would be catastrophic to put it lightly. People have been so excited to see multiplayer, to see whatever the next big game mode, social game mode is, you know, we've been told we're not getting a BR and all that stuff. Who knows about all that? But I just can't imagine a world where 343 or Microsoft or whoever's in charge of this stuff is just like, yeah, we don't need it. Why would you do that, bro? Content creators, you know, have been asking for any type of news, any type of gameplay stuff, and it just seems like, you know, more and more as time goes on, people are getting not less excited, but just, uh, you know, more apathetic, maybe? Is that the word I'm looking for? Maybe not. So I fully expect them to show off whatever, you know, graphics they have, you know, the, the better looking aspects of the game. And I really think that PvP um, is 
easier to showcase that kind of stuff just because it's less of a, a large environment and all that jazz where you you got to worry about explosions or anything like that so i do think that we're gonna see something it's, it's got to be you know blow them away this is this is the big you know marketing opportunity that halo has needed since last year because although i enjoyed the you know original e3 gameplay stuff you know like i was still excited for the game i don't think that people were blown away you know obviously from the news about it and like how is this a next gen game and all that other how is this how is this what we've waited six years for i think that uh it's going to be even more difficult for them to really wow people because they're already apprehensive about what the game is. This sucks. I do think Halo has a long road to... Oh my gosh. Has a long road to proving to people that, you know, this is, you know, a good a good investment on your end for your time and your, your money even. And that, uh, you know, they put in a lot of love, a lot of effort to make the game better. To make it look better, to make sure that PvP is fun, and um, I just really hope that whatever we get is a good time. Give me that. I do feel like Halo game launches are some of the best in gaming. I feel like there's always, no matter which game it is, Halo 4, you know, Halo 5, there always feels like there's like a lot of excitement, a lot of hope and even even with the negative oh my gosh stutter even with the negative press that uh halo has gotten recently with you know the delay and how it looked and stuff i still think that the game is going to be a pretty big launch with the multiplayer being free to play as well i think there will be a ton of people that are interested in playing i think that's probably the best thing that could happen for halo Oh, man. Thank God. I look dumb right there. I go back. Yay. 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 No. Oh. I suck. The other team has, like, half of their team has left, and we can't finish this. This is in incredible. But as the video winds down again, let me know what you guys think, what you expect to see, what you hope to see. If you uh, think that, golly, he destroyed me. If you think that people are going to be upset no matter what, because I think that that's also going to happen. I think there's inevitably some type of sadness when, uh, you know, Halo stuff is revealed and people don't get exactly what they want because the community is so split at this point from different Halos, so... Let me know in the comments down below what you think is going to happen. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Sub to the channel if you're new, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.